just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on tonight. As you know, we don't have a support act out there, and um, we just basically came here to kick your fucking ass on our own so we can play for about four or five hours. Is that cool or what? That's fucking cool. So anyway, so instead of a support act, right, we got this fucking movie thing going on out there. It's not a, a bunch of shit for me. From the old days when we were fucking 12 years old, right when we formed the band. It's got a bunch of shit with Cliff. You guys like Cliff out here? It's got a bunch of shit from um, when we were in the studio making shit for the new album, like recording Sandman and so on. So, And uh, we'll be out there, you know, to fucking kick your ass when it's over, okay? What happened was that in 1981, I was looking for other people to get some kind of jamming thing going with. I wasn't even interested in having like an original band or anything like that. I just wanted somebody else to play my favorite new wave of British heavy metal cover songs with. Lars and I met up in LA uh, through an ad in this thing called The Recycler. And uh, every week, we'd, at least I would go right to the H part where you know would be heavy metal. And there was like two guys, me and him, so finally we, kind of got together. Okay, how long has the band been together as Metallica? Well, since we started. Which was what, October 81? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going up to Rochester, New York, recorded the first 10 songs that we had written, which were all the songs that ended up obviously on Kill 'Em All, and we made Kill 'Em All. It's our first album. I think there's a big change in direction from Kill 'Em All to Red the Lightning, in that uh, Cliff and I, we brought a different sort of influence into the band. Do you know Cliff over there on bass guitar? Lars and I were pretty drunk at this place called the Whiskey, and we heard this kind of guitar solo weird noise happening, and uh, we couldn't find the guitar player. There was just this bass player with his red mop kind of flipping around up there, and uh, we couldn't believe that that was bass. So uh, instantly we knew that kind of Cliff was a, a freak, so we needed to get him. The songs that we were writing on Master Puppets and Ride the Lightning into Injustice for All became longer and longer, more and more intricate, more and more progressive. Puppets, I think Cliff had a lot more to do with than, uh, than Lightning. We had a little more harmony stuff going on that time and a little more classical kind of stuff. The Aussie tour is great. The album we were touring behind, Master of Puppets, I think was the breakthrough album for us where we established uh, ourselves as a band that can do more than just play fast. Who are you guys here to see, Ozzy or Metallica? Metallica. How come? Better than Ozzy. Better than Ozzy, yeah. Who are you guys here to see, Ozzy or Metallica? Metallica! How come? Because they're fucking better.
also tragedy in rock this week. Metallica's bassist Cliff Burton was killed in a bus accident while the band was on tour in Sweden. He was 24. Well, what happened after Cliff's accident that we obviously had to, uh, you know, get a new bass player together and we got this uh, energy bomb of a person named Jason Dustin. <laughs> And uh, we started up with the Injustice for All record and went on a Monsters of Rock tour with Van Halen um, during the summer, which is possibly, you know, the thing that really broke Metallica as far as more and more new people being turned on to the band. The Justice tour went for, you know, a very long time. It was 250 dates or something. And it really was a big test for us. And we really, really stretched out and, and really took the music to the people. Or it, it made them, uh, well, it made them think a bit. I think the one video was pretty interesting. It was a, a bit dramatic. I mean, it wasn't the most cheery of, of video. It won't always be like this, will it? I can't live like this. I, I can't. Please, no, I can't. I can't help me. Somebody please help me. Mother, where are you? Help me, Mother. I'm having a nightmare and I can't wake up. Well, about a, a year ago in the summer of 1990, it's like we had a vision about the fifth Metallica album. We'd joke with each other and you know, have a little jam here and there. There's always tension, you know, with, when you're in a creative situation where everybody has different ideas and so on. But I think that you're going to understand that these guys are like family.
Well, it took about a year out of our lives to put this whole thing together. Um, after we got together the 12 songs, we knew that we had something special. Shit, so just fucking don't fucking worry about it, okay? Make sure to smile. Smile for the rest of the world. So, we're gonna be up there in how 